of wet weather and inclement weather in the southeast with Mike. As we head to the north, we also have a little bit of wet weather scattered through the Plain States, even some storminess here through parts of uh, Oklahoma and into the panhandle of Texas. We see that wet weather extending on to the north as well. As we check out a few radars, we can see where some of the worst of it is. And as I mentioned, we have some storms pushing right on through Oklahoma City right now. We also see some of that storminess uh, between Amarillo and Lubbock here moving through the panhandle where those darker reds and yellows are. That's where some of the more intense activity is right now. And again, Oklahoma City looks like you're getting pounded and we could even see some of that moisture working its way into Tulsa as well. Follow that line on to the north, sort of a broken line here of just soggy conditions on towards uh, Columbia, Missouri, on towards uh, Quincy. And northward to Dubuque, you're getting some soggy conditions too. And our final stop will take us into Michigan, where between Saginaw and Detroit, a little soggy weather here and on into northern portions of Illinois, scattered showers. Uh, again, not a lot of moisture to work with in these areas, but that frontal system certainly sparking just a bit of activity. Well, let's see what's in store for our forecast. We head on into Tuesday morning, and of course, we are still going to be watching Josephine very closely here. Uh, Georgia, the Carolinas, wet, windy weather here. It is going to be a messy day uh, tomorrow, the morning hours, and into the midday. Still looking at a lot of wet weather. We think that uh, by that point, uh, we will have lost the tropical characteristics with the Josephine. Nevertheless, we're talking about a lot of wind and a lot of uh, wet weather here. It's still going to be quite a storm to contend with as it affects the East Coast heading on through the day on Tuesday. Look at the western two-thirds of the country, though. Fairly quiet here. We are expecting torrential amounts of rain, perhaps three to six inches locally in the areas here in darker green. Temperatures overnight mild along the coast. We're going to see some cool readings, though, into the northern plains, the upper Midwest. Highs only in the 50s for the Great Lakes region on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we'll see uh, the same general scenario. We've got a ridge of high pressure in the west, a trough in the east. That uh, pattern is going to prevail here, and we'll see the cooler temperatures with that trough in the northeast. While it's going to be rather warm, even hot in some instances in the west, it's going to be rather dry, too. Here we go on into Friday, seeing a little bit of a warmth building here through the Plain States. And on Saturday, don't look for any big changes as far as your temperatures are concerned. Precipitation on Wednesday, we're going to see the rainy, windy conditions with the remnants of Josephine still affecting the northeastern U.S. We might see a bit of wet weather in Florida, too, but most of the country is going to be quiet. As we head on through time, we're going to see a general scenario of calm weather. Except in the northeast, still a bit of showery weather for you, quieting down somewhat by Friday. On into the weekend, most of the country is going to be nice and quiet. Stay tuned. Coming up next, your business travelers forecast, so don't go away. Five days coming up. First, a quick look at what's going on with our current weather. Of course, right now, all eyes on Tropical Storm Josephine here uh, approaching Florida. and.